So a lot of you out there, you'll be looking for love. Love, oh, love, oh, you want love, right? You want love. <laughs> Do you know a lot of young girls don't know how to, you know, how to, how would I say, how to detect, how to identify somebody that really loves them. A lot of young girls out there, they don't know. You know, I was doing some profiling, I was like doing some research about different profiles of different type of people. I discovered that girls of nowadays, they are not as wise as the serpent. The Bible said in uh, Matthew 10, 16, Behold, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. So be wise as serpent and innocent as the dove. The Bible did not say be wise as the angel, be wise as Abraham, or be wise as even our Lord Jesus. What did he say? He says be wise as a serpent. Not that our Lord Jesus is not wise, though. no. But there's this kind of wisdom the devil have. It is the wisdom of evil. Is if he is he has this demonic wisdom. It be this crafty wisdom of destroying people's future and lives. That's the kind of wisdom he has. So God is trying to tell you that be wise as him. Because if you are a because he came to steal, to kill, to destroy. So if you on this, if you are a thief, you are an experienced thief, you have the wisdom of a thief. No thief can thief you. Because thief cannot thief thief. If you are, for example, let's say if you are a retired Yahoo boy and you now fall into the hand of another Yahoo boy that wants to Yahoo you, definitely that Yahoo boy will have a tough time stealing from you because you have that wisdom already that wise that wise that that wisdom that knowledge that know-how of yahoo you already have it so you will use it against it that's why the bible said on uh, matthew 10 16 be wise as the serpent but be soft as a dove be gentle like a dove like be be be, be less harming be less violent as a home but intellectually be wise as the serpent Utilize those evil knowledge, those demonic knowledge against the evil kingdom. Use their weapon against them. Now, let's go back to the relationship topic. I'm saying a lot of our young girls don't know how to find love. They don't even know how to identify true love. Most of them, this is the problem they have. They are attracted to those guys that, you see them every minute, they are already sagging their pants. They have dreadlocks. They don't have a job. The only, the only investment they have in their whole life is an iPhone. And apart from that iPhone, they smoke, they drink, they party. They don't, they don't really have a future. They can't even, if they are in emergency, like they broke, bah, like they need help. Those guys can't help them. I even know girls who normally fund their boyfriends. I know girls who, who fund their boyfriends, hoping that in the future he go blue. Do you understand? And you now see a guy. Let me use myself as an example. You now see a guy, a career guy like me. I have a, up to like 25 different certifications. I'm a video editor, web designer, swimming coach, a, body, a, a, a fitness trainer. I can calculate. There's nothing I can't, as in gym instructor, sound director, film editor, music producer, mixing and mastering. I don't even know what I don't do. You now see a career guy like me. That can literally align your destiny and say, okay, let's say for example, now you don't go all the old school, you won't go, you don't do NYC, you do everything, and you don't know any handwork. I can literally train you on one of the skills I have and then place you on a business for you to have a focus in your life and have a direction. But you will not prefer people like me, you prefer people like Portable. We get rainbow hair. The portable is even better. Portable even is focused. It's not that portable will make you look like Make you feel like he's not focused. But that guy is very intelligent. No, let's take Potipo out of it. Let's bring somebody else. Like one of those local upcoming Lagos Island Yahoo boy, for example, that have not achieved his Yahoo ambition. You will now start carrying them up and down. And then when time reaches, your age is already ticking. You are almost getting to 37, 38 years. Now you now need a husband. Because all your life, all your childhood, now malians then you gather put for your environment it is malians that you assembled in all your contact if they check your phone it's malians that fully inside your phone now it's not time for you to now marry a responsible guy you have finished school your life is balanced you now need a husband 
When you now look around you, Malias, 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 everywhere. No husband material. Now, those Malians, they have already influenced your lifestyle. Even you, self, your dress code, the, your style of fashion, self, will not even attract people like us. People like me now. I'm, I'm sure you, as I'm in the entertainment industry, you'll be thinking I'll be attracted to all those kind of girls that Sabalo normally use. Funny enough, I'm not attracted to girls like that. Although big, big, everything, yeah, I'm not attracted to them. I'm attracted to girls that are homemade, cultured. Those are the kind of girls I'm attracted to. Those are the kind of girls I want to spend the rest of my life with. Not a BBL girl that I would need to be maintaining a BBL for her. No. But funny enough, we use them on our skit and everything. Look at Egungu, for example. Egungu. Mm -hmm. That guy that normally uses big nyans to do interviews. Have you seen Egungu's wife? The wife be like Mountain of Fire and Deeper Life Church girl. So are you, are you, are you, so you girls, you have problem. Oh. The problem you guys have is that you always think <laughs> you know what, you know what is good for us. Eh, eh, boys used to like it. Eh, the Wivon will be long. Yes, that 500,000 Wivon, eh, men like it. Eh, that big booty, eh, men like it. Real men don't like any of those things. The people that like those things are people that have problem with sexual sex control. Look at all those senators, them, all those old men, them, even some pastors. If a woman naked, they go peace for body because they are not used to seeing naked people. Me, I've been seeing naked people since I was in primary school. Primary, secondary school. So when we were primary school, we were bad. When I was in primary school, I was bad. Pornography, we can spend five hours, ten hours watching pornography. When we were in primary, because then we have early access to internet. So I've seen enough naked people already. Then I now became a massage therapist, whereby I was doing all those erotic massage for people. I, I literally can massage the woman stuck naked. So I did that for like 10 years. I used, I, that was part of the money I used to pay my school fees when I was doing my OND. So I've already seen enough naked people in my whole life. So, and I've worked with naked actresses. So, so now when naturally, when the, when the girl was stripped naked and come to my room and like, Nollywood, I feel like having sex with you. I'll just look and say, the first thing that will be rolling in my head will be, she this one, this she demon possess. She won't transfer HIV to me. She I be na set up. You see, my head will not be, my reasoning faculty will not be working very well. Are you getting my point? But if it's somebody that is an amateur in that field, and somebody, a woman just come naked, before you know, the next day, you'll be saying, ah, oh God, I've actually dead. The lady came, she naked, and I just slept with her. You know why? Because he's he's not experienced. He's, he's not emotionally matured. He's not emotionally matured in that field. So because of that, any woman can pew, 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 use it against him. So ladies, if you are looking for a guy to marry, you are looking for somebody to put in your life forever. You should look for career guys. Don't go and be looking for people that, you see them, they are dancers on TikTok. They are, today they are here, tomorrow they are there, they are, <laughs> it's foolishness. There, there's, there are people that can stay in your life forever and build with you. And there are people that just want to come in your life when they are feeling the vibe. Once they stop feeling the vibe, they are off. You can't be complaining that he broke my heart, he broke my heart, and your choice of men is horrible. The choice of men, your choice, your selection process your, your, your thinking capacity. You yourself, you have intellectual problem. You don't have, your brain is zero. You don't know how to select good from bad. And you, and you're looking for your soulmate. You're looking for your soulmate in the wrong place. With the wrong friends, with the wrong cliques. So, well, you're welcome to Church of um, Dancers. So, this is Mr. Nollywood. I believe young ladies out there, you have learned one or two things. If you want something that will last forever, you want husband material? Look for career guys. Look for guys who can give you money and walk away and don't ask you for sex. I've been doing that since I was in secondary school. I've paid so... I don't, even, I don't want to say things I've done for women. I don't want to even say it. So that God will bless me. I don't want you people to bless me. It's God that one that will bless me. I've not seen so many of their pants. I'll just... Well, just go. Go, 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 go. I, don't, I even have girls who say, No, Lou, can I just come and do weekend with you and tell you thank you? I say, no, don't do weekend, though. Whatever I've done for you, go with it. I did it for God. Look for career men and stop messing around with my ass.